Ooh. I've goosebumps. We haven't even started. <laughs> Over the last 10 months, what I've seen is a movement. Now, I'm Peter Kelly, and I'm so honoured and privileged to be surrounded by young people who live outrageous, extraordinary lives. You know, lives different to what we were taught to live, right? And it's cool. What's also cool is that what's cool now has changed. This world ain't exactly what my heart expected. Trying to find my way some way. You know what's cool now? Gratitude. A gratitude just for the small things. Our arms, our legs, our eyes, our ears, the fact that we can see the ocean, and the fact that today we get to walk this beautiful planet again, because let's face it, some people don't. You know what's cool now? Celebrating other humans. When they do good things, when they do great things, when they do different things, just celebrating them because it's what we should do. You know what's cool now? Joy. Waking up every day feeling joyful for no other reason than because it's what we're meant to feel as humans. And joy is where all the magic happens. Consciousness. Consciousness isn't just cool, consciousness is super sexy. You know, knowing that we're part of something so much bigger than ourselves. You know what's cool? Spontaneity. Just jumping on a plane and going wherever your soul tells you to go, just because you can, for however long. You know what's cool? Choice. Choice is one of the coolest things ever. Just choosing every day what you do, where you are, how you feel. There's just so much power in choice. You know what's super cool? Random acts of kindness, big and small. You know, just sending people balloons on a Monday for no other reason than because why not? So you know what the coolest thing ever is? Giving. You know, actually it's the coolest thing apart from high-fiving random people when you're running, but it's, it's one of the coolest things, just giving, just giving. And especially it's the coolest when you don't expect anything at all in return. You know what's the coolest though? Walking to the beat of your own drum. You know, not caring what anyone else thinks of you, because let's face it, people are always going to think something. You can't walk to the beat of a hundred drums, but you can definitely dance to the beat of one. Dancing to the beat of your own drum, you know, being free in here, now that's living an extraordinary life. Real freedom, you know, living an extraordinary life, it really it starts in here. It's, it's waking up every day and doing what makes this stump from Monday to Sunday, from morning to night. You know, just living like a child. You know, not asking for approval from anyone. You know, just, just doing what makes this light up. Alignment. Alignment is the bomb. Freedom is alignment. It really is. It's when how you're feeling in here matches how you're living out here. That's an extraordinary life. You know, my friend David Wood says to me that there's the person that you were born to be and the person that we've learned to be. And when there's a big gap between how you feel in here and how you're living out here, you feel funny and it's not fun. So alignment, I suppose you could call that living your purpose. You know you're living your purpose when you wake up every day and you're excited. You know, you never wish you were somewhere else you know, you never wish that you had more energy. You've got all the energy that you could possibly need. It's living your purpose. It's living an extraordinary life. So, I'm just going to cut right past the white elephant that's often in the room. You know what is super important for living an extraordinary life? Financial freedom. You know, financial freedom, it's time freedom. It's having time and resources to do every single day what excites you to whatever extreme you like. You know, when you've got freedom in here and you couple that with freedom out here, financial freedom, now that is really living an extraordinary life. So financial freedom, you know, it's not just about money. You know, 
actually having money in front of you, what's so exciting about it? Like, do you print it off and fan yourself with it? Having money, having financial freedom is about time. It's about having time and it's about having choice. You know, and young. You know, young people deserve this time and this choice. Why aren't we taught about it? Why aren't we taught more about financial freedom? Why don't more people have it? Why don't more people know how to get it? We grow up, we go to school, and we're taught to get a good job. We're taught to trade our time for money, for something that might not necessarily excite us. Where are we taught to go after what excites us? Where are we shown how? You know, I think about all the young people in the world with the most epic ideas the world will ever see. And a lot of them will never, ever, ever come to life. Because there's so many young people out there who just don't know that they have a choice. They just don't know how. You know, they just don't. You know, what financial freedom does is it pays you to get out of bed. It pays you to live your passion, live your purpose, bring all of these epic ideas to life. You know, having choices, having time freedom, Having an abundant life is everyone's birthright. And whoever told us a different story was lying. You know, time is our most valuable asset and there are too many people in this world trading theirs for something out there that doesn't match up with what's in here. Having financial freedom, it's about living in abundance. It's about choice. It's about having more time with the people you love, more time in a world of excitement and joy. It's about filling your own cup and always being okay so that you can live in a world of contribution. The world needs more people who can fill their own cup so that they're in more of a position to give their gifts to the world. To me, choice, freedom, this abundance, it's essential to living your most extraordinary life and every young person really does deserve it. You know, at 25 years old, financial freedom for me has meant that I can retire my single mum of four, you know, pay off her mortgage, just give her back some of the experience that she sacrificed raising four of us kids, three rat bags and one angel. Being able to take the financial stress of my mum has given me a healthy, happy mum for so many years longer. And how can you put a price on that? You know, financial freedom has allowed me to be in the mindset of giving, to always giving and always thinking about how I can give, who I can give to, you know, what sort of change I can make. You know, I couldn't be in that mindset if I wasn't free myself. I mean, at 25 years old, and living a life of contribution and be always be thinking about how you can give to the world this young, you know, how does it get any better than that? You know, being free in here and out here for me has allowed me to set up, earn more to give more. Earn more to give more is run through life by my own design and it's something I set up to create a place where young people can come together to earn freedom, residual income to whatever degree they like so that they're free to live their purpose and so that they're free to live their most extraordinary life. The best part about Earn More to Give More is the Give More. It's a place where young people can come together to contribute and to constantly be thinking about how we can contribute, to live a life outside of our own and to inspire other young people to do the same. It's allowed me to travel the world to places I never thought I'd ever go and spend my days just hanging with the most amazing young people ever. And spending my time helping them discover you know, what lights them up. So freedom for me has allowed me to be surrounded constantly by amazing young humans who are the examples of living extraordinary lives. The more I'm surrounded by these amazing young people, the more I realize that we really are leaving a legacy for our generation and all of them to follow. And now some words by the beautiful Don Miguel Ruiz. How are you going to change the world? You will change the world by loving yourself, by enjoying life, by making your personal world a dream of heaven. And I ask you for your help because you're the only one who can change your world. 
We represent a whole legacy. And when I say we, I'm speaking for all humans. Our legacy is love, it's joy, it's happiness. Let's enjoy this world. The mission that you have, and the same mission is true for all of us, is to make yourself happy. The how could be millions of different ways of doing what you love to do, but the mission of your life is to enjoy every single moment of your life. We only have a few sunrises, a few sunsets, and a few full moons that we can enjoy. This is our time to be alive, to be fully present, to enjoy ourselves, and to enjoy one another. Now, when you couple a young, soul on fire, a young soul with purpose and passion, with the resources to make it happen. And that's when the magic really happens. You know, our generation has access to all of it. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice, incredible abundance in here and out here. It's time for more people to start accessing it. You know, there really is a movement. And I get goosebumps young people living outrageous, extraordinary lives, starting in here and flowing out here. You know, when young people live extraordinary, outrageous lives and can contribute to the world in meaningful ways, and how does it get any better than that? This is not only your permission slip, but your invitation. Some people just won't get it, and that's okay. Not everybody will, but it's your choice. You can either play it safe or you can grab some balls and start living the life you were born to live.